Hello everyone, I am Vipul and in this video I am going to tell you that how you can create folders and subfolders dynamically in a SharePoint document library using Power Automate. So I will walk you through one of my scenario and based on that scenario, based on some conditions, how you can create folders and subfolders dynamically. So I will talk about one of the scenario where uh, in this video I'm going to showcase you that. So first of all, there is a SharePoint list at my backend. There are multiple SharePoint lists as you can see emission category, measurement process steps. This is a library where the folders will get created. And there is a list which I'm using for configuration. So first of all, we'll create an item in a SharePoint list which is emission category. So this is the name of my list. And based on some predefined configurations, some relevant process steps will get created in this list. Once the process steps gets created, so those process steps, based on those process steps, the folders and subfolders will get created in a SharePoint document library. The SharePoint document library name in my case is documents, which is nothing but share documents. Inside it, I have created a predefined folder called measurements. Now inside this measurements, I want to create this main folder dynamically with some nomenclature. This is the naming convention or naming nomenclature for this folder. And inside this folder, I want to create some subfolder. Again, there is a naming convention to that subfolder. And inside that subfolder, I want to create sub subfolder with some again naming convention. So this is kind of a scenario which I'm going to show you in this video today and we will see how we can create these subfolders using Power Automate. So let's see this in action. What I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate you to the emission, set, emission measurement SharePoint list straight away. So as I mentioned in the diagram which I showed you that in this diagram, first of all, I will create an item in emission category. So let's create an item in the emission measurement SharePoint list. So I've just click, uh, clicked on add new item. So I'm just giving a random title, YouTube, video, and then I'm selecting application, series. Let's say I've selected 4000 series. Location, I'm just selecting USA icon. I have multiple locations which I can select. Cylinder, I'll keep the default value. And then I'm just selecting the certification lead. I'll choose my name in this case. And then application segment, let's say A70, legislation, I'll select legislation BSO1 and that's it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save. But before that, I can select accountable role as well. Let's say certification engineer, for example, and then I will click on save. Now, this particular item which has been created, the most important items, as I mentioned, are the location category and legislation in this case we have not selected the category but we have to edit it because category is also one of the important factor or important deciding factor for creating the folder so let me select quickly the category as well um, category i'm just selecting let's say a certification category and then i will click on save um, all these are lookup columns. In my case, these are coming from all the master list. This link to main folder and link to process steps are going to create a dynamically using Power, Auto Power Automate flow that we are going to see now. So let me come back to the scenario. What will happen is that in this case, we have created a list item in emission category. Now, based on the three particular columns, the relevant process steps will be created in another list. So those columns, the deciding columns are category, location, and legislation. So if I talk about location, legislation, and category, these are the three important columns based on which the relevant process steps will be created. So before that, let's see the configuration list. This is our configuration list, which is having step number, sub-step number, step title, sub-step title, then measurement category, legislation, and location. So location we selected USA, so I'll filter it by let's say USA and all. So I'll just filter it based on the location. Legislation, again I'll filter, so we have taken standard as the legislation because BSO1. So BSO1 is tagged at the back end as the standard legislation. And category, again I'll filter, so we have taken certification, so I'll again click on apply. 
so this is the filter conditions which has been coming from my previous list which i created the item which is in the emission measurement based on this location category and leg legislation the process steps will be configured in another list which is measurement process steps all right now what will happen the flow will trigger at the back end the flow has already been triggered because once the item is created in the emission measurement the flow must have been triggered i will walk you through the flow now what that flow is doing the power automate flow so my flow is triggering when an item is created we already created an item in the emission measurement list after that i am creating some uh, basic variable folder name formatted id subfolder link and so on but i want to talk about two important variables here which i have created which is of type array so one is for the process steps and one is for the process sub steps because in my diagram i showed you that i have to create first the main folder inside it i have the sub folders and the sub folder will still have the sub sub folder that's why there's two array variables i have created after that generally in my all the power automate flow i usually create these three variables which are super important i will recommend this that please have a practice have a template you can create a template in power automate flow as well to have this three variables always created at the top in your power automate flow one is the workflow id so it's simply workflow dot name another is the run id which is the run instance id of this uh, particular automate flow which is workflow dot run dot name and the environment name which is tags dot environment name so at the end what you can do is you can concatenate all these variables because this thing will definitely help you uh, in case if there are any errors you want to see that in which particular flow instance the error has occurred so this will create a particular url uh, make dot power automate dot com slash environments and then you can pass the variable environment name then flow id and the run id so a basically big url can be created which is your flow run url okay coming back to this uh, context of this video now i have created two scopes here the this is the parent scope try inside it i have created two scopes the first scope is for setting the folder name now what is this folder name is as i as i mentioned earlier that this will be my main folder right so this will be my main folder based on cylinder based on series or app segment name which i have chosen in the emission category while creating an item in the emission category so first of all this main folder will get created and that's where we are using or maybe formatting for that particular folder name so format number i have just taken the id i want to keep the uh, five digit id that's why i have used this action format number this is a particular action available in power automate flow and then i am uh, setting the variable which is formatted id composing the app segment name because my app segment name can have slash can have ampersand and so on and then i'm setting the var folder name by concatenating all these things so this is the var folder name the main folder name which is getting set here now in another scope now create new folder is the main measurement folder as i mentioned the top folder right so here it is getting created inside the measurements so i have a document library inside it i have created a static measurements folder so i'll show you here so if you see here documents inside documents which is a library sharepoint document library inside it i have already a folder called measurements so if i go to this sharepoint document library i'll go back one step back if i click on this then i already have a folder with the name measurements inside this measurements i want to create my main folder sub folder and sub sub folders all right so this is create new folder this is uh, action which is available sharepoint action which is available in power automate flow what i'm doing here is that i'm passing the site address passing the library name and then passing the folder path where i want to create my main folder inside the measurements static folder i have passing the var folder name which i have already set in my previous step now get items get relevant process steps this is very important because this will get from the process step configuration how many steps will be created right that how many steps will be created in this case so that's where we are using this particular query get items action and i'm using a filter query here a filter query is on the process step configuration list i am just getting the items getting because there are many items in this configuration list i don't want to get all the items i only want to get the items based on this filter query now this filter query says measurement category equal to all 
or measurement category equal to what has been selected as the category value and location equal to what has been selected as the location value and legislation whatever is selected as the legislation based on the trigger because my trigger is on emission measurement list so that is how i am filtering the data from the process step configuration list which is nothing but a configuration list having so many items over there now i am using apply to each so whatever filter items on uh, from based on the emission measurement input values i got from the uh, process step configuration i am going to loop on this and then i am going to create the folders and the subfolders so i am going to create first of all the subfolders i am checking a condition if contains variable the process step now the array variables which i showed earlier it is just checking if it is equal to false if yes then it is going to create the folder the first folder so here we are creating this folder first which is the step level so i have a step i have sub steps so i am just creating the step level folder here and then adding it to the array so that it doesn't get created again and again and then i am checking a condition for the sub folder the same condition which i check for folder as well so now here i am creating a sub sub folder so you see here inside the measurement inside the main folder inside the step folder which is now this one i am i am going to create now this one which is the sub sub folder so for that i am just passing the sub step title which is which i am coming uh, which i am taking from the trigger condition and then uh, accountable role and then the sub step number so that is how sub step number sub step title and then um, the accountable role so that is how i am creating the sub sub folder here and then i am appending to the array variable all right at the end what all what also i am doing here is that i am creating the uh, item in the measurement process steps because that's the ultimate goal that i have to create the relevant process steps so i am creating the measurement process steps here and then i am just um setting the measurement link also as i showed you that these are the two links which is linked to main folder and linked to process steps so i am just setting that in the power automate flow and then sending an http request which is of type post to set these folder as hyperlinks because in my case in this emission measurement list these two columns link to main folder and link to process steps are hyperlink or picture type columns at the back end all right so we'll see this we'll see the run history whether our folders or subfolders got created or not we'll see the history first of all uh, of the power automate flow because once the item got created in the emission list the uh, the power automate flow must have been triggered now you see that it has been succeeded 8 minutes ago it got triggered and then now in the document library will see whether our main folder got created or not first of all in the measurement folder so we'll see first of all uh, so this one is the one which got created 9 minutes ago this is the main folder inside it whatever the process step configurations based on the configuration all these subfolders are created and if i open any one of them for example the sub subfolders are also got created you can see 9 minutes ago all right so just using the create folder uh, action and based on some conditions i was able to create the folder hierarchy dynamically using power automate that's all in this video thanks for watching